Hi everyone, I hope you're doing very well. It's nice to see you again. I thought today for our tutorial, our tutorial, we would do something a little different. Because we live in cities called El Paso, Paso, Texas, which is right across from Mexico. The city there is called Ciudad Juarez. Well, most people here, or a good majority of people in El Paso, speak both languages freely back and forth, and my classes are basically that way too. So I thought today, if you wouldn't mind, I would, um, we would do our tutorial in both languages. Hoy vamos a hacer este tutorial en las dos idiomas, inglés y español. Espero que les gusten. Vamos a pintar cerezas. So today we're going to paint some cherries. They're not very difficult. Let's begin. All right, let's check our colors. We have titanium white, Van Dyke brown, raw sienna, burnt sienna, cadmium medium, yellow medium, orange, citron green, Prussian blue, uh, doxacine purple, alizarin crimson, um, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, and cerulean blue. Tenemos aquí nuestra selección de colores. Comenzamos con uh, blanco titanio, Van Dyke Brown. Aquí tenemos siena natural, uh, siena tostada, amarillo cadmio mediano, naranja, citron, este se llama citron verde, verde prusia, morado alizarín, um, ultramarino, azul ultramarino, cobalto, y cerulio. All right, I've mixed the colors and let me tell you what I've done here. So these colors are for the browns and the greens in the stem area of the cherry. These are going to be for the highlights in the cherries. Okay, and then these deeper colors are for the cherries themselves. Okay, entonces, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Vemos que estos colores, los cafeses y verdes, son para, uh, para los tallos de la fruta. Estos son para la luz de la fruta. Estos acá abajo son para la fruta, las cerezas. Okay. Vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. As you can see, I have already started on the background, and the reason I did this is so that it'll help me gauge the the colors here inside the fruit. Como pueden ver, ya comencé con el fondo porque esto me ayuda a determinar uh, los colores apropiados para la fruta. All right, so first, what we're going to do is the stems. Primeramente los tallos. Y le voy a dar vuelta. I'm going to turn the painting because sometimes it's more natural. The stroke is more natural, okay? A veces puede, podemos darle una vueltita porque es más natural para la mano. So let's begin then with the base of the... of the stem, comenzamos con la base del tallo. We have a little bit of brown. It gets darker as it comes towards the bottom. Y entonces avanzamos con el verde, verde claro. The, we continue on with the lighter green. And also the medium green. Okay. 
good. As you see, we need, we're going to need to darken it, right? Darken and lighten both. Como pueden ver, tenemos que enseñar más contraste porque estos colores son similares. Because these colors are similar, we just have to have more contrast so that it will stand out. Let's go ahead and put in more contrast. There we go. As you see, this is a miniature. The painting is a miniature. Como pueden ver, la pintura es una miniatura. Y miren la, el tamaño en contraste. Que grande es mi, mi mano en comparación a la pintura. So you can see how big my hand is in comparison, right? All right, there's a few browns up here. Tenemos unos cafecitos aquí Now for the top part acá arriba comenzamos a terminarlo Ya hay unos detalles. We see some details up top here. Sorry, I'm turning it so much, but it really does help me, especially miniatures. Una sombrita aquí, a little shadow there. Darker area here. Más oscuro ahí. Some light up top here. We have some. Tenemos luz aquí arribita. What do we need? We need to emphasize the sides of the stems. Tenemos que enfatizar las orillas de, de los tallos y con eso usamos este pincel. Con este pincel hacemos la luz y Tenemos que diluirla. So with this brush, the script brush, you have to dilute your paint. Okay, you have to dilute your paint so it will flow well. All right. We'll start it down here. Ah, oh, steady hand. Será un poco difícil. 
Let's see, we'll make another color. This time it'll be light green. Lo haremos otra vez, pero esta vez con un verde claro, claro. Just for a little bit on the interior. Lo aplicamos aquí en el interior. Nos está quedando bien. Espero que sí. I hope it's coming out good. I think so. And now we will begin with the fruit itself. Ahora comenzamos con la fruta. Now let me tell you something about this kind of painting. Two things. First is that when you're doing two things that are similar, it's good to do them basically at the same time. If I do this part at the same time, I do this part at the same time. It just helps with the consistency. Lo que estoy diciendo es que cuando estamos pintando dos cosas similares, es mejor hacerlas o pintarlas al mismo tiempo para que sean consistentes. Another thing I wanted to tell you was that sometimes we let our mind tell us what what the color should be. ¿Verdad que a veces dejamos que nuestra mente nos diga qué color debe ser alguna cosa? Sin embargo, debe ser nuestro ojo. So instead of letting our mind tell us what some, a color should be, we should let our eye tell us. Because most beginning painters would look at this and say, well, that's a cherry. It should be red or deep red. And they would just get some maroon and paint it. However, we know that light affects objects so differently. Entonces, en vez de dejar que nuestra mente nos, nos diga exactamente cómo algo debe ser, es mejor que nuestro ojo determine el color. Porque los objetos son, ¿verdad? Los objetos tienen diferentes colores dependiendo donde, cómo les está pegando la luz. For example, todo esto es un reflejo. All, all these colors I'm adding right now, they're reflect, reflective light. And so they take the light from their environment. Let's see. 
At this point, we start with our darker colors. Comenzamos con los colores oscuros. I'm holding, you see, I'm holding the painting because it's so tiny, this miniature, that it moves easily. We see so many shapes in this painting within the reflection. Vemos tantas formas en la fruta. Formas, formas, shapes, shapes. Muchas veces donde voy a poner luz, dejo esa área abierta. So a lot of times where I'm going to put some highlights, I leave that area open. I don't paint in it until I need to. Estas frutas tocan aquí. Las mías no están tocando. Right now I'm using the darkest color I have made. Estoy usando el color más oscuro que he hecho. Ahorita cambio, I'll change in a moment. Uh, I guess we're almost ready for the next color. And our next color is maroon. Nuestro próximo color es maroon.
We apply some here, aplicamos un poco aquí. Siempre estoy revisando el, la foto. Check the photograph regularly. Oops, there's a shadow here. Se me olvidó est, est, esta forma aquí. Let's see, we begin with our next shape. Nuestro próximo color es un color cafecito. Very brown color. Reddish brown. And then the one after that, it's a lighter brown. El que sigue es más claro, un café más claro. Con naranja y amarillo también. Let's see here. All of these shapes help give the fruit its, its rounded shape. Todas estas formas ayudan para que veamos que la fruta si sí está redonda. Looks like I might have missed some spots. Se me olvidó unas cositas. We will begin to fill in little areas that um, I need to. Comenzaremos a llenar ciertas áreas.
you might wonder how can I apply certain colors like, like what I was doing right now here and it's because I'm applying thick over thin so it's hard for it to scoot around En estas áreas estoy aplicando la pintura espesa. Porque ya hay pintura de por abajo. Continue to fill in. The next part is very important. It's the reflected light. Esta parte es muy importante, el reflejo de la luz aquí es verde porque está reflejando esta luz acá. Right, tenemos estas formas muy bellas aquí, muy bonitas. Más verde aquí. And then we need some transition colors between here and here. Mas Lusaka, a little bit more light right here. And I'm forgetting light at the bottom. So let's add that light. Vamos a agregarle la luz acá abajo. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll go over here, right? Let's do this edge here. And I don't think I did it light enough, so I'm going to go lighter. All right. 
let's try again. Very good. We have a little bit of light here. A little bit of light here, not very strong, but still there's some. And let's paint this light in here. have this shape that we have not done much with. Okay. A ver. Tenemos una variedad de colores aquí y luz y necesitamos una orilla para distinguir esta área de esta área. So, here we need if you were looking at it right now we need we it's obvious we need something all we need is contrast there to distinguish this area from this area there's our contrast Se me olvidó esta I forgot that area right there. I can't believe it. Let's take care of it. Vamos a aplicar la luz acá arriba. Es casi blanco. Blanco puro. comes to a point here. Oils are so wonderful because they're very forgiving. El óleo aceite perdona muchísimo. We have a light here, a little reflected light. Aquí tenemos una orita de luz, una puntita de luz. A ver el otro lado, the other side now. I'm picking up too much color. Estoy recogiendo mucho. 
mucho color no quiero más blanco I want more white All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of blending. Um, just to soften a few areas. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es mezclar o difuminar los colores un poco solamente. Para hacer eso necesitamos limpiar un pincel plano. So we need a clean brush to do that. And then afterwards we will work on any details we might have forgotten. Después de eso, podemos revisar los detalles. So de arriba hacia abajo, from top to bottom. I'm barely touching it. If I pick up too much color, then I clean my brush. Si recojo mucho color, limpio mi pincel. Soften it. Difumino entre estos colores un poco. Barely touching it, apenas tocándolo. Perdí la luz ahí. I lost the light here, so I'm going to put it back. There we go. Sometimes I lose stuff. All right. So we'll go back to uh, softening. Not overly soft. Okay. Queremos difuminar, sin embargo, no demasiado. Para mantener la forma. That way we can maintain the uh, shape. Be these beautiful little shapes here. We don't want to overdo the softening. I'm barely touching it. Oops, I got rid of that pretty color. Aha, ahí está, there it is. OK. 
Okay. extra light here, an extra color here, más color, um, acá, right here, don't want to lose that shape, no quiero perder esta forma aquí. It comes to a, a point right there. Tenemos una punta ahí. This part is very delicate. Esta parte sí es delicada. Just a little more light right here. And right here. And right here. Más luz acá en estas áreas. Alright, vamos a avanzar al siguiente. Let's go on to the next one. See the difference? Can you see the difference of the softness of this one compared to this one? Puede ver la diferencia entre los dos. Vamos a hacer lo mismo para este. Comenzamos arriba. We start at the top. Estamos difuminando este lado. We're softening this side now. See, notice I'm not going like this, but basically up and down. Okay, aquí un poco. Dando la vuelta. Okay, so... We finish up then our painting by softening all the little edges and we're almost done here. Soften, soften. Manteniendo la forma. Sorry for the noise, it's windy outside. Hace mucho viento afuera. Por eso está un poco ruidoso. Okay. I think that's basically it. And um, right there. Okay, so... Those are cherries. Ya terminamos con nuestra pintura. Uh, I wanted to thank Pixabay, the website Pixabay. And also, I wanted to thank uh, Rebecca Chauvais. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She's the photographer that allowed me to use this beautiful photograph of her. So thank you very much. And um, I hope you learned and enjoyed, because I sure enjoyed um, demonstrating that for you all. 
That's it. We're done. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for spending a little time with me. I wanted to mention that if you have painted one of my a painting for one of my past tutorials, let me know, and I would like to show it in one of my videos. Si ustedes pintaron una de mis pinturas en uno de uno de mis tutoriales, por favor avísenme. Me gustaría mostrarlo en un video en el futuro. Thank you all again, and if you would like to purchase or see my art prints or art gifts, check the links below. Thanks again. Take care. Adios.